show you how to make an assignment in Canvas, how to make that assignment with um, a document that students can um, write on. Now this is just for iPad, so um, hopefully this will be helpful for people. Okay, so I am going to make an assignment. I'm going to show you right now. This is the assignment. This is what I'm going to put in my assignment. So like the students were to read this book in Epic and then use this, um, use this worksheet, complete this worksheet and submit it. Now, first of all, when you have something, let's say if it's something that maybe you have off of Teachers Pay Teachers or um, something like that, most of those are going to already be a PDF. It has to be a PDF. All right, um, let's say that it is a Word document that um, this is my virtual classroom idea. So let's say Word document that you've made, then you need to do file, save as, and then you need to change this to a PDF. So you have to do those things because it has to be a PDF, All right? Um, if you have scanned something and it's a JPEG, I'm trying to think if I have anything close by that's like that, um, you do the same thing. You can go um, so let's say, pretend like this is not a PDF. So you would open it up and you would go to file and then you would go to export as PDF. All right. So that's how we get a PDF. Hopefully I covered all the different ways. All right. So once you have your sheet, you're wanting your students to complete made into a PDF, then you're going to make the assignment in Canvas. So here's my Canvas page. I'm going to go to assignments. I'm going to click the plus sign, all right, and then I'm going to call this, um, what was it, this is your land, all right. Now, you can be simple and just say complete what is below. Um, I tend to like to do other things because apparently I'm extra. Um, so anyways, so let's say you're going to add an image. I don't think I have an image that is going to be good for this, but um, actually, wait, I might. Um, this was a sheet that I used back in our uh, quarantine days when we were just trying to survive. So I have a whole lot of stuff. Oh, no, I don't know where it was. Um, um, so anyways, I'm sorry, this is going to take me a second. I'm just going to try and figure out which, um, oh, here it was. Okay, so I made, I just did a screenshot of the front of the book and um, on my computer, upload it. So there it is, it's really small, so I might want to make it bigger like that. That's kind of blurry, but that's okay, that works. And then maybe I wanna say something like, um, please come, oops, please come, please read the book. This land, ooh, I was wrong on the title, is your land in Epic. And a lot of times I will also put the link to that, um, the link to that book here. So let's say, okay, let's just go on into this. So let's go to Epic. Because I like to try and cover all my bases. <laughs> so um, I haven't gotten into Epic in a while, so it may make me log in. Um, and if you are not in Epic and you are going to one and if you are one to one and your kids have really anything, iPad, whatever, get Epic. It is free. It is free for educators. Your kids will get thousands upon thousands of books. I literally teach right from Epic all the time and they're all ebooks and they can there are things that can be read to them it's an amazing resource so let's see what's called this is I sound like that my land this is your land actually I think it was what it's called this is your land let's see there it is all right so let's say I get this book and then I'm going to right click copy that um, website and then I'm going to come right here to my link. I'm going to paste my link in there, insert link. So now I have my link in there. Now granted, also on Epic, 
it's a whole another tutorial to do, but you can assign books to kids so the kids can just get into the app because it's an app, you can just get into the app and it will be in their mailbox. So I also make lots of collections. Anyways, that's for another video. <laughs> um, I also like to make things um, bold so that they know. I also like to um, make things big because I do. Um, so please read read the book. This is an epic. And then complete the worksheet below. Period. I could say and submit it, but that would be kind of like a wrong sentence. All right. So then maybe I would say um, book work sheet. And again, I like colors. So I would probably make this like red or something and honestly you know what I think I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller this is just me and but I think visually if you can make things different sizes so that it kind of can differentiate differentiate what is important what needs to be done I don't know for me personally I think that's helpful and I think it's helpful for kids too so okay so there's where I'm gonna put my book worksheet so again I make an assignment for um, the worksheet this is your land and um, there's my title of my assignment. It's an assignment. I'm putting it in assignments. I put a little graphic up here. I told my students what they need to do. I made a link to the book just in case. All right, now I have my book worksheet right here. Now I need to upload my worksheet in there. So here I'm going to go to files, close those down, upload new file, choose file. All right, I already put this on my desktop. It's right here. So I'm just going to click on that file, All right? Also, very important, can't stress how important it is, make sure and try and um, uh, organize your folders. Very good. I'm not going to put it in anything right now, um, but there you go. So then I click Upload, and there it is. All right, so then I'm going to click Save. Oh, wait, let me go down here because I haven't been into this yet um let's see for submission oops this is going to change external okay external tools sorry um some of these things have kind of changed a little bit all right so there we go so i'm going to click save oops nope i don't want external tools i really do know what i'm doing online there we go there it is again they've kind of changed some of the um tools all right there we go and we're going to click save so here, now I have my assignment. Now, if you're going to put this assignment someplace, because now you've made it, but you want your kids to get to it. Let me tell you a little trick, too, um, is to hide all of these so they only see the bare minimum. Like, I would even take off pages. It just needs to be like home. That's all they need to get to. Um, because I noticed during e-learning that kids were getting straight into assignments. And with the assignments, and they just find whatever assignment and never watch the lesson. Not good. So, anyways, but this is just for an example. So, let's say that... Um, Let's say that, I don't even know where I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in here for right now. And let's say, nope, we're not going to put it there. I should have made a link to start with. Okay, so let's say that I'm going to put it in this e-learning lesson. You would probably, you would want to put it in something other than something like this. All right, so then I'm going to title this. Um, this is your land. I think I probably have that title wrong again. Again, make it big, make it bold, make it centered. Okay, so here is my assignment here. So then all you have to do is go over here to assignments, find the assignment, click on it, just like you do when you're, when you're connecting pages, and you're done. That's it. So now I've created the assignment. I've put my assignment in here, and I can direct my students to get into it that way, or however, make sure and publish it, and then they can complete the assignment. Now. I went ahead and made a little screen recording of what it looks like on the kids' end because I know, let me make this bigger, I know that the question was, all this to say, how can kids get into um, and like annotate, like put something um, in and write in on a worksheet? So since this is a PDF, I did this on my iPad. I did a little screen recording so you can see. So there's the assignment. 
at the top of the screen, there's that little um, pencil thing, and you can also move that around. You just click on those two lines on the sides, on the side, and um, you can write on it. Now, on it, let me pause it here. On here, so here are your features you have. So, um, honestly, I don't know what all of them are. This is obviously highlight. This is obviously write. This is obviously type. This is erase. Um, if they needed to add a, a hyperlink, um, arrows. I don't really remember what this is, but I've never used it, so I guess it's not that important. But when you click on this pencil right here, there, there are... Um, there are lots of, actually click on the pencil and then click on the color right here. And there are lots of options. You can change the color. And I'm going to show you in a second on here. You want to make sure that the students choose whatever color they want, but the color with the red line next to the other, next to the other circle. Because what that means is it, it's making, as you can see up here, a transparent background. So as you can see how I did these lines here, you can see the words through it. Um, kids will mess with this and then choose, let's say this, and I'm going to show you in a second on this video, choose this one and it is a white background. That is a problem because in everything that they write is going to have a white background. They can also change the thickness. Um, I usually try and tell them to stick at a certain thickness because either they'll make it way too small or way too big. Um, I also, unless it's a drawing thing or um, a math problem. I like for them to use the typing feature unless as they if they've gotten used to writing it's not as big of a deal or if they have a stylus or something like that. Um, oh I didn't show it on here but you can also pinch um, the screen so you can make it bigger and then um, you can um, they can write it as an appropriate size and then make it smaller. So that's the other thing. Okay, so I'm going to continue the video here to show you. See, I'm showing that I have changed my size of and thickness. All right, so as you saw on that one, I changed it to the non-transparent background. Don't do that. All right, because I, I had parents come see right here. This is the non-transparent background. I had parents um, send me messages saying, things are covered up with my when my student when my child um, writes. So anyways, make sure and show them that. All right, so let me continue this video so you can see it. Again, I wish I would have done the pinching, but they can pinch the screen bigger to actually write in letters. They can type things like I did right there. You can choose um, to make it bigger or smaller, the text. You can also change the color and things like that. You can move it around, which is very nice. You can delete it, you can copy it, you can paste it. You can click that style and it changes some of the style things. Um, so there are lots of things you could do. All right, so now to submit, it'll look a little bit different with your um, students' iPad, but you can submit it as I did. You're going to click that box with the arrow up. You're going to click there, and it should automatically, since you are already in that as the assignment, the this is your land assignment, it it will put it in there. Now, if they start messing with it and changing it, it could be put anywhere. I had students do that, but it didn't happen a lot, um, but it did happen sometimes. So once they click the box with the arrow up, then they find the, um, and it may, again, look a little bit different on theirs. I cannot remember, um, but they'll, they can choose the canvas icon. They click on that, and then it'll bring up that box that it showed, and then they can submit it. And when they submit it, it'll go straight into um, into the Canvas page for you to see whether or not they have submitted an assignment and you can grade it. So let me go and do it. I'm showing you again. You're going to go right here to the student thing. Again, they can change things here like the course or the assignment. Um, they should, they won't need to do that. Just tell them don't mess with it. Um, so there is that. They'll submit it. It tells you, oh, it says fail just because I'm the teacher and I can't submit my own thing. Um, they can always go back to their assignment <clears throat> that they did if they need to fix something. So right here, they can just click back on that exact link right there and fix anything. But then they have to make sure they resubmit it. They have to go through the process and submit it again. All right. So um, they go through there and it is submitted. Um, you can also look at submissions here, or I think there's also a place up at the top where it says graded submissions and so on, so they can see what they have submitted. So let me get out of there. So that is how you make an assignment 
in Canvas. And again, you can write on it as long as it is a PDF. And it, it makes so, it's so nice instead of having kids go into one application and then submit it in another application and all of that sort of a thing. They don't need to do that. You can also make an assignment. And when you do it, um, let's see, let me go to edit. And down here, let's see, um, online, you can, um, media recordings, file upload. It's the file uploads. That's the big thing. So if you want them to take a picture of it and just send it, they send it, they can do it that way as well. So hopefully that was helpful. I know it's kind of long. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try and make some more videos on other things. Go back to, if you go to my, um, YouTube page. Let me go here. I have an actually this is kind of a remaking of a video that I have done in the past. Let me go to my channel right here. Oh, that looks lovely. Um, so if you go to playlists here, and I have um, right here Canvas Tech slash Tech Tutorials. There are a bunch of them, and I made one right here for my um, for the teachers at my in my school district to kind of help them out on their um, how to do the assignments. There's also, I had like a thing about adding some stickers. I also made a video for my students on how to, to review how to submit assignments. So um, that was kind of hopefully helpful for them. I put that at the top of my, um, as a resource in a lot of different pages. Um, Teachers how to grade using um, get the Canvas T. If you have an iPad, get the Canvas Teacher app. It is amazing. I mean, yes, it crashes and has its issues, but you can grade things right in there and right on the student's work, as I'll, as I show on there. Um, but go to this um, playlist, and it will give you some really good, um, really good videos. Hopefully, that will be helpful. So, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.